Hey guys, I'm you Dan. And I'm Otaku Kim. <laughs> He's back! <laughs> I was only gone for a week. <laughs> a week is still too long. The one video I could do, I had no one to bounce ideas off of. You could have gotten some ideas from uh, Zero to Chaos. You could have just texted him. I know, but I didn't want to bother him. Because I know he, you know, he, the manager of another store. Fair. But, uh... Yeah, he's finally back from a Disney cruise. You lucky, 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 lucky bad word I'm not saying. <laughs> uh, but yeah, me and my family just got back from a Disney cruise. Uh, we're going to have a whole video on what happened during the cruise. It'll have clips, photos, um, me in a picture with Jack, Captain Jack Sparrow. Uh, it's going to have all that. And we'll, we'll, we're going to record this at, at the time of filming. We're still going to record it around the same time. But uh, it's got to be edited to insert everything. So it's going to come a little later. But I got stuff. A lot of stuff. And I want to show off that stuff. Now, some of it's gifts. Uh, some of it's mine. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. First things first. My gosh. I take the time stone. It's a cup. <laughs> With a straw hole. Actually, I just noticed this too. There's little things right here. So, I guess you put it in soda, mm -hmm. it won't build up. And Yeah, it has vents. Yeah. Um, I couldn't resist it. They had a bunch of different ones, but uh, the other way. But I uh, I just really wanted this one. It has been on the expensive side for a cup. But then again, you're on vacation. You're going to splurge no matter what. Yeah, that's true. But I really like this. The only downside is it looks like he's holding something weird. Yeah, it looks like it's just holding a weird extension of the of the gauntlet. Yeah, and then my I have a really big frying pan hands, and so my index finger knuckle is grinding against the wrist right here. But I mean, yeah, for me it fits a little better, but still, but my knuckle, my knuckles go right here a little bit. There are, uh, let's see, you said it was for like probably little kids. Yeah, I'm gonna get a kid probably probably get their hand around this right here. Probably going. Well, if you can tell, if by just holding the inside of it, it's made to be shaped like a person's hand. Yeah. Where you hold the drink. Yeah. I actually want to get that other Infinity Gauntlet that we saw at the store. The Hasbro I one? Yes, I want that too. <laughs> just well, uh, isn't, Wasn't that a right-handed one? Yes, it is. I believe in the comic books, Thanos is right-handed. Don't quote me on this. If you know, let us know in the comments below. But as far as I've seen, I think maybe he's just, you know... He was left-handed in the movies. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that'd be kind of awesome. Well, ambidextrous. It, ambidextrous. Yeah. yeah. Drinking. The power of two. That would be uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six. That'd be 12 Infinity Stones. Double the power. Double the death. <laughs> this uh, one will wipe out half of who, all, all life in the universe. And this one will quench my thirst. <laughs> this will wipe out all half of all of the universe. This will quen uh, this will destroy half of my thirst. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. Yeah. But on to the next one. <clears throat> now this one's actually a gift for Jasmine. She wanted a glove. Uh, not a glove. A mug. <laughs> Close but enough. It's a mug of a glove. <laughs> yes. Another Infinity Gauntlet. This one's the mug. Infinity Gauntlet the mug. And finally, got with the cup. And finally, got with the flamethrower. It can kill half the universe. Uh, <laughs> In a fiery, horrible death. I mean, with the Infinity Gauntlet, he could have done that. Oh, God. Could you imagine if this could actually move the fingers? Just hold this with this. That would be hard, considering how massive those fingers are. That is true. I, I just can imagine the, the, the Thanos holding him up. This is an extreme thirst. <laughs> Okay, uh, this one I did not get on the cruise line. However, I did get it in St. Augustine. And if you follow me on Instagram, you saw some of the adventures me and my family had. Uh, in St. Augustine, they have the Pirate and Pirate Treasure Museum. This came with a certificate of authenticity. Uh, and it has a, a ring around it with a necklace loop so I can make it a necklace. This is a silver Spanish doubloon from Captain Kidd's Treasure authentic real it wasn't cheap <clears throat> i'll do a close-up a little later on as well yeah well uh 
I got pins and Dan's got to have to be behind the camera so you can uh, see it a little better. So we'll do that with it. Uh, when uh, we were on uh, Grand Cayman, one of the West Indy I the islands are known for is Tortuga Rum. And so me and my dad bought some. This I bought, well, a coworker wanted me to get some for him. That's this one. And then I also got one for Jasmine's parents. Uh, this one's banana flavor. Ooh. Me and my dad got mango flavor. Whew, not big price on that. But then again, it was actually $15. Really? Uh, apparently a Cayman dollar is different from a U.S. dollar. Really? Yes. So I need to scratch that off. <laughs> So almost half the price taken off from there then. Yeah. Plus it was duty free because, uh, or tax free or whatever you want to say it. It, it was, uh, it was cheaper because of the fact that we were on a cruise ship. But that being said, we have not tried any yet. Uh, I can't wait to try it. A product of the fine West Indian rums blended and bottled in Barbados for Tortuga International Holdings LTD. St. Lucia, West Indies. Um, Jasmine's parents are getting pineapple flavor. This one's banana flavor for a co-worker who wanted some. <coughs> Sorry. That means a mean strawberry daiquiri. Oh, no, a banana daiquiri right there. Yeah. The, okay, the only downside is you can't order the liquor online. That does stand. But you can order their cake. This is Tortuga Rum Cake. It came with a smaller cake that was original flavor, and I ate that already. <laughs> this one is chocolate. Chocolate. Uh, I'm actually I actually bought this for my co-workers, plural, so they can all have a piece <laughs> and try some. Ah, you're about to sneeze. <laughs> they want to know Caribbean. <laughs> but it says tasted Caribbean Tortuga Caribbean rum cake. I've actually had a piece of the chocolate one. It is delicious. You can actually order these online. Huh. Yeah. You can't even order the drink. That's kind of sad. I. I think it has something to do with international laws. <laughs> Good point. I'm sure maybe there's a way to get it in the States. I don't, I'm not sure. There is a way. And I'll make the way. <laughs> Put it down. <laughs> Come on, you know that was too good to pass up. <laughs> All right, uh, next. Oh, do you know what? I forgot to get that one down. We'll get that one down in a minute. Next, we have a statue of Tinkerbell. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why the hell Tinkerbell? Well, she is Disney, one of Disney's greatest icons. Yes. And let me go ahead and do this. That's not the only reason. Uh, they had Sorcerer Mickey as well. Mm -hmm. Same price. I thought about getting Sorcerer Mickey. She went to go retrieve one that was in this box still so we can travel. It was six times the size of the box for this one. Jeez. It was a massive box. So probably kind of too hard to come and bring to, it back. To, to, to give Dan a perspective... That box right there, the white one. Hmm. That's for her. Six times that size for a, uh, you know, and, and the reason why is because all the foam protection, because he had a wand that was sticking forward. Oh. I only have one problem with that. What's that? Sorcerer Mickey doesn't use a wand. That's what I was just thinking, like, wait, does Sorcerer Mickey even use a wand? No. I don't think he does, no. But, it, put that there for now. I really like that statue, and it came with a raffle ticket uh, to get a painting, which I won and I got. Dan, would you please go retrieve it? I shall go retrieve the painting. Wait, it's on the wall, so. Yeah, I know. I, I was talking to them. Oh. I thought, you, I thought you thought I forgot already. No, no. I knew you knew. Uh, all right. Put that there for the moment. All right, go ahead and come back. <laughs> One day soon, we hope to have a bigger space. More room and a better studio. Yes. All right. The painting I won is this one. And at last we see the light. And it also comes with a certificate of authenticity. Oh. Huh. Now, he got this for free with the raffle. Yeah. How much is it without the raffle? A hundred dollar. So, yeah. Put that there. Okay. I got two shirts. Okay. So, our adventures on uh, 
Grand Cayman. A lot of fun. We got, uh, if you follow, like I said, if you followed me on Instagram, you saw me holding a sea turtle. Yeah. Uh, you had crush in your hands. You so totally rock, dude. Anyway. Dude. <laughs> Uh. On the final island we went to, Castaway Key, we actually got rained out. However, my parents and I and my brother, we all got to go shopping a little bit. And uh, we were able to pick up a couple things, uh, shirt, pins, that sort of thing. Um, so, I mean, it wasn't a total loss. Uh, we didn't, I got to stand in the water. I didn't get to swim or snorkel or anything like that because of thunder and lightning. <coughs> and I, I know it could go, but it was probably a bad idea. Yeah, it was a bad idea. Um, so I ended up getting this shirt. Alexa, stop. I forgot it made a reminder for something. All right. Can you read the people what it says? Disney Cruise Line. Mickey in Paradise. Castaway Key. Key. Oh. Almost a little like K, but I guess it's just like a different way of reading. Bahamas. Yeah. I really like this shirt. There was another one I really liked, but it didn't have it in my size. It was for kids. It had Stitch uh, on it. I was really wanting that. Kind of like me with my Sorcerer Mickey hat from Epcot. Yes. And I got the kid one by mistake. Yes. Like, what does that feel so too small for? Yes, that's exactly right. All right, and the next one I got is this Hawaiian shirt. With Mickey Mouse surfing, lounging, walking, walking. That's about it. Yeah. It's a really nice shirt. Tommy Bahama. It yeah, was a brand name, expensive shirt. Yes, but worth it. I spoiled myself. All right, at this time, we're going to have Dan step behind the camera because we have trading pens to look at, and I got a lot of them. Teleport me there. Bad editing because I can't edit. He get behind the camera. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and uh, show them the silver doubloon. <clears throat> Do you want to use the flashlight on it or Hang on, I'm trying to get it to uh <laughs> to actually uh clear up a little bit. <clears throat> Here we are. From 1622. Actual treasure. Yeah. From Captain Kidd's treasure. All right. So all of the pins are in this Disney Cruise Line reusable bag. You can purchase now for $1 on Disney Cruise Line. Uh, we're going to start with the ones I bought and then go on to the ones that I actually traded for. Because those, the further you go along, the more interesting it will get. Trust me. So first one is this Disney Cruise Line ship pin. I was very excited about this one. I was very excited about all of these, honestly. <coughs> It'd be flat. 3D! All right, and next on the list we have, uh, it says, I'm not bad, I just cruise that way. With Miss Jessica Rabbit. Oh, come on. You know that's hilarious. Yeah, I know. It, 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 ma it matches even better the fact that I have... I'm not bad. I'm just drawn white. That way, I have that pen. Oh, uh, yeah. I always find it funny how people are like, Oh, she's one of the hottest cartoon characters. I'm like, not really. I, was like, I guess I was like the odd one out for that one. <laughs> Next, we have Stitch on the Beach. I think what they did for this one, they had him, they just basically cut him from the movie and they put a sailor hat on his head. Yeah. And took out the leaf. Yeah. Next we have Rapunzel. Rapunzel, Rapunzel. 
She has magic hair. She married Ute Flynn Ryder. And we all seem to care. I don't know. I have to think of something to run. All right. Next, we go under the sea. I thought you were on top of the sea on a boat. Shh, don't give them the spoilers. I mean, what's, how do you spoil that? Oh, we're on a cruise. <gasps> Did you go on a boat? No, we went on a plane. <laughs> we were at cruising altitude. Ah. Oh. All right, this one's a special one. Uh, it's a exclusive to the cruise line. I actually got this at Castaway Key. It's for the onboard play Tangled the Musical, which, mm, phenomenal, darling. Phenomenal. I just hope it wasn't like that uh, musical Beauty and the Beast I saw at Epic. Was that Epic? No, Hollywood Studios. Oh, it was better than that. Okay, good. It is literally Broadway level. Okay. Because they uh, said that on the Beast one at Hollywood Studios was Broadway level. I'm like, no, no, a sub -broad, um, Broadway. They're just big cartoon, you know, meet and greet characters. Maximus the, the horse was a massive puppet. Well, that makes more sense because you know it's easier than having a real horse. Yeah. I just found it funny that Gaston just went up to Beast, just basically shanked him like in a prison. <coughs> But that's my experience at Disney World. It was still good. And here we are with Ariel again, brushing her hair with... A dingle hopper. Yeah, I was going to say that. <laughs> with a dingle hopper. At the fork, you idiots. <gasps> How dare you? Here we have a uh, exclusive castaway key pen. With Mickey. If you're wondering why his eyes are black, it's kind of with the old style Mickey. All right, and then the, yeah, the last one that I bought is Rapunzel with a lantern. I gotta get this the right way, otherwise it looks like she's possessed. <laughs> okay, there we go. I won't use the light on there. The light just made her look possessed. <laughs> All right. Here, I'll show you. Like, the light just, like, shines on her eyes. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> But uh, from this point on, all of these I traded for with my trader pens. And I got a lot of good ones. I'm going to start with the big ones, and we're going to move on from there. First, I have Inaugural Voyages Bermuda 2018 Disney Magic. This is an exclusive one that you can only get by trading with a crew member on the night you... Uh, one of the captains, I should say. Not a crew member, one of the captains. Watch out, ship. You're about to sail into a lighthouse and plants. <laughs> All right. This one says Disney Cruise Line Transatlantic 2018 Disney Magic. Again, only with one of the captains. I was really excited. They had all of them had uh, the same ones. So everyone had a shot at getting them. Uh, and there's a secret to this one. It's a passport. Surprising, isn't it, Daniel? Oh, yeah. Now then, I'm sorry, but you can't be here anymore. Your passport expired. <laughs> All right. Now the, now we're getting into the mundane pens. Let me... All of these are going to go on my cork board after we reco finish recording. And he has a good amount of them. Yeah. Some of them are old, like almost 20 years old. Almost like that little halo on his head right there. What? That's not old. Okay, first we have Shelly May. This one, a, uh, one of the dining staff had this one. Uh, next is Tinkerbell that says, Where Dreams Come True. It's hard to see it, but it's right there. Yeah. You can kind of make it out. That's why I read it, because even I had trouble reading it at first. One little spark. 
of inspiration is at the heart of all creation. <laughs> Gotta love Figment. And then, let's see, I actually have the colored version of that one. Now, this one is not a traditional Disney trading pin. However, it is listed under the, the database because it's made by Loungefly. It is a Rapunzel one. <coughs> it's fairly recent, but I traded it for my Kronk pin. But he makes such good spinach puffs. Next, we have some classic Mickey. Technical difficulties, Dan? I'm just trying to get the bag. I'm like, <laughs> I don't want to get my fingers on the side because otherwise it's going to cover it, cover parts of it like that. I'd rather have the whole thing in view. So grabbing the back of the pin is better. Oh my gosh. Kent, we need to turn to Mickey. Oh! Oh no! Hey, you're on my See Disney. you real soon! No, I'm on my Disney! Oh no! All right, this one, I actually thought it was Rapunzel at first. But after I got it, I realized it was Pocahontas. Look at the guy. It honestly, that Flynn Rider does look like uh, John Smith. A little bit, but there's a little bit of a difference as well. Yeah. <coughs> so all of these I traded mostly on off of uh, ca uh, cast members, crew members. Um, only a handful of them I actually traded off other people. Shame about that thing is. Pocahontas is not like the actual. Real I life. know, I know. Next, I know movie. next we have Oswald the Rabbit. Mickey Mouse's older brother, who was kind of shut out of the limelight. Sad story, by the way. Well, it's not really their fault. Walt uh, lost the rights to him for many years. Oh yeah, until whoever's in charge now got back, right? Uh, no, it was two people ago. Michael Eisner. Ah. All right. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to see which one. To... All right. So this was the last one that I actually got off a regular person instead of of a cast member. Pongo and Purdy. I thought it was Perdita. Uh, I think they call it Purdy for short. No. Yeah. What well, do you know? What's funny about this? What we just finished watching uh, 101 Dalmatians in our room. <laughs> right when I found that, I was like, "Oh, I gotta get that." All right, I got two special ones here. I'm gonna start with this one. This is from the year 2001. It's a Tokyo Disney exclusive Mardi Gras pen. Now, there's no rubber back to that one, so you're gonna have to figure that one out. Just hold it by the pen right here. This, uh, that is the, one of the older ones and a cast member in one of the shops had this one in his pocket and I was shocked alongside this 2000 Christmas Tokyo Disney pen. Astounding, isn't it? Oh yeah. Yeah. Two oldest in my collection. All right, next we're going to go with Orange Bird. He's a mascot. Uh, he's a collaboration mascot for Disney and uh, a promotional piece for Florida Oranges. Hmm. <laughs> next we have one of the Hidden Mickey figments saying lonely he is so lonely what do you think of that one dan just wondering why he's just so lonely <laughs> what's weird is there's only a handful of one that's different emotions but they all have the same freaking face <laughs> that weird thing back the, in the, the, day. the background color just changes i thought that weird thing back in the day at school is like how I can, I can tell a dog um, expression as the same happy face, happy, sad, hungry, uh, yeah. suicidal. I'm just going, my dog can make twice as many faces as that right there. Yeah. One little spark. 
of inspiration. It's it still Figment, fun. guys. It's not Elliot the Dragon from Pete's Dragon. It is Figment from Epcot. What? The eyes make it. The light makes his eyes glow a little bit. So I had to move it away so you can actually see his white eyes. Another Tinker Bell. Again, a lot of pens. Can I complain? No, because I love these. But I think the light worked better with that one. Well, it's because it's dark. All right. This one's actually a fan favorite for Review It Dan. It's Merlin! <coughs> From the Sword and the Stone. Merlin the Wizard. Who is Disney's favorite wizard right next to King Sid, I believe? I think they're only wizards. Next, we have a silver Jessica Rabbit. I didn't find the colored version of that one, sadly, but it's okay. Next, we have one of Ariel's sisters. I do not recall her name. I don't think anyone knows her names. They have names. I know they have names. We'll just name her Blonde. <laughs> oh, Dan, you got a phone call. Ah, it's Ariel. <laughs> I don't know how she got my number. I think <laughs> the fourth time I changed it from that number. <laughs> and finally, we have the demigod of the wind and sea, Hercules. <laughs> no, Maui. Or at least his tattoo. It would be kind of cool if there's like a 3D effect to make, make it look like it was moving. Yeah. But guys, that's actually all that I got. Uh, my parents got their own little things, but I'm not going to show those off because I didn't pay for it. <laughs> uh, leave a comment down below what you uh, liked, whether it was in the pens, the shirts, uh, the the Infinity Gauntlet. <laughs> uh, but until or the other Infinity Gauntlet. What? Or the other Infinity Gauntlet. Oh, yeah. Or the other Infinity Gauntlet. <laughs> uh, but until then, guys, I'm a Taku Kent. I'm you at Dan. Hope you all had a blast. And don't forget to stay random, folks. Peace out.